Stop trying to put up walls because the sergeant did his job today and said, you know what? They want that wall down. I'm going to tear it down. Y'all be mature adults like you're supposed to. I want to give a look at what happened. I want to give a big thanks to the Dallas Police Department. They did a great job at handling this situation. Um, they kept everybody safe. You know, not a single shot fired, not anyone arrested, interrogated, anything like that. And I wanted to say that is just a great way to show the rest of the country how you can do a peaceful and successful protest. Um, I also want to point something else out. Thursday, with the Black Lives Matter movement, okay? Uh, I noticed that there were police officers out there. There were signs out there. They were taking pictures of everybody. And that, to me, stood out greatly because other areas of the country, police officers wouldn't do that. Uh, now, what happened Thursday night was a tragedy. That, that was that was someone unrelated to the cause. Unrelated okay. to the Completely cause. Completely unrelated the cause to the is cause. Not about that at all. But it's about it's about life, not about this. To, today, we more history. Today, we're going to show the rest of the country how we came together. The president of the United States is going to be here on Tuesday to address Dallas and the rest of the world. That's right. We got to show him the example of how Dallas can come together. So when he gets here. Again, we're making we, we, we have laid the model for the country right here. And I hope turn down the wall. And I hope, Mr. President, if you do get a chance to watch this, we are citizens of Dallas, Texas. We have protested, anti-protested peacefully. And we want to show you this is how America does it, and this is how we stand together and come together. Right. And if we want to talk about change, I pray and I hope you speak with us and we can talk about the change for the country and the change for our future. We need that dialogue. We need that dialogue so we can get understanding. This problem has happened because nobody is talking to each other. That's right. The police need to be explaining to us their mentality. Then, whether we like it or not or disagree, we need to be receptive to listen. We have to then have they some understanding. Set. Then they need to listen to our side. And when you finish, it doesn't stop there. It needs to be a set of guidelines put in place for both sides. So we know the model, the, the model set of rules we need to both be governed by to hold both sides accountable. We need to set the example for the rest of the country and the rest of the world. But like I said, it starts here today with the law enforcement here. That, again, I'm not going to say race or color because I'm colorblind. I, I don't see colors. I don't Man. see race. We're all Americans here at the end of the day. We're all citizens of Dallas, Texas. But like I said, it starts today. And this is a, we're going to leave our mark on history today. Amen. Amen. 
Everybody get it in here, man. Everybody get it in. Everybody get it in. Everybody get it in, man. Everybody get it in. Everybody. Absolutely. Come on in here, brother. Everybody has to. I want everybody to hold hands, okay? I want everybody to hold hands. Any police officers want to come in on this prayer would be greatly appreciated. Would you mind coming in? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Our Lord Almighty, I just want to say thank you so much for your grace and allowing us to be here today, keeping all of us safe, and I, I thank you so much as I am so humbled that you allowed us to come together today. We've had so many tragedies happen in the past few years and nothing done about it, but today, Lord, with your grace and Almighty, and your love and compassion. Today you showed us that we can come together as a community, as citizens of America, and just the humanity you have showed us today. I pray and thank you so much for that. And I pray that from this day forward, we can bring much change, the much needed change that should have been brought a long time ago. And that today marks a new day for law enforcement, for any race, any religion, I don't care what culture you are, but that we can go forward and show the rest of the country how it should be and show the world the way America was founded on. I pray again, thank you so much. I pray that everybody makes it home safe. I thank you for the police officers that were out here today. You know, it's hot outside. I thank you that they kept us safe uh, with no, no problems at all. And uh, again, thank you so much, Lord, with your gracious name. Thank you so much. Amen.